Hello, today we're at the Geneva International Motor Show to meet two renowned car enthusiasts, Chopin's Carl Friedrich Schoeferle and racing legend Jackie Ix. We're going to be talking about the Mille Milia and their long-standing friendship. Let's go say hello. So I wanted to ask you a few questions about your friendship because you've been friends for, for a long time now. How did you first meet? Well, it's clear that our relation, it's something we have built up through the years. You know, in life, you never know when or how you're going to meet people, but uh, you know they play, the people you meet in life can play an important role in your life. It's true that um, with Carl, there have been something uh, special, not only um, through the Mille Emilia, but also you have to understand that he is leading a company, a family company. And definitely, I think the philosophy, the overall philosophy, when you are with your wife, in this case, uh, father, mother and uh, sister, it's a unique team and uh, it doesn't look to any conventional companies. The fact that we are talking about watches and jewelry and uh, also many other products, uh, luxury products, um, it became really a very important name. In the middle of that, of that Yes, we have a very big friendship. Yes, we meet often. Well, uh, we, uh, yes, we have built up confidence between ourselves. And um, it's something who really means something for us. It's um, all these qualities and all these strong relations where sometimes when he's in good mood, he says, you are a member of the family. It's terribly attractive. Now, my, I think the first memorable moment was when uh, Jackie arrived in 1989, and uh, we didn't know each other so well. At least I asked him to join me on the Minimilia, and naturally I thought that uh, he would drive. <laughs> but uh, quite uh, Jackie-like, he said, well, I'm not driving, uh, you, you are driving, and uh, so I'm looking at the uh, Italian countryside and uh, whatever else I see in Italy, which looks nice. <laughs> so, so there were no arguments? I had no argument, but to get behind the wheel and uh, watch, quite nervously, watch, watch. nervously drive. Because, uh, you, you know, you don't drive uh, you're not the driver usually of a uh, living legend like Jackie, so uh, what could I say? Um, and I think it was <laughs> close to Rome or somewhere, but uh, I was looking <laughs> on my right hand side and I saw him sleeping. So I said, maybe my driving is not so bad after all. You know, it was a, bit, a real good collaboration because he likes to drive very much. And when I decided to be his co-driver, it was because I had in mind to uh, rediscover Italy and I loved the sightseeing of Italy. The new part was in a way, he really drives well. And when he says, I'm falling asleep because I'm terribly confident in his way of driving and very smooth, I decided I could have a nap in the car. In a racing car, it's fairly unusual because yes. it makes, a, <laughs> it makes a, a lot of noise. But the fact is that if Carl has been engaged, because it's something he hasn't said, but I think he did 30 millimilia or 29 millimilia himself. 27. 27 millimilia. Yeah. I think it's a unique case. I don't know if anybody else has done so many uh, right. as he done. And that explains also how the tradition between the Automobile Club of Brescia and them 
made it possible to have a, a sponsoring for 30 years. That's also it's very unique. Usually you sponsor um, a race or whatever for four, five, six, ten years, but ne it never lasts. Here they found between the Automobile Club and uh, Chopin a real, a real friendship and a real loyalty and confidence between them. It's really a win-win operation. So um, it's clear that when you drive with Carl, I think it's, uh, it's nice. But as he said also, um, I don't do it every, uh, every two years. But I'm tempted and I'm happy that uh, I saw the new, um, the new track this year because it's totally different and it's very yeah, attractive. It's, uh, and it's, it's attractive one day to longer. go to Milano a day longer. When Milano. we started the first time, it was only two days and one night. Mm. And now it's much more, uh, let's say, uh, you can enjoy it much more because you see a lot more and you don't drive so much at night and it's more, a little bit more comfortable. Definitely, yeah. yes. Now, each year you issue a special new media watch. You must have a few now. Do you have a favorite? Mm. You know, um, it's like uh, when you win races, people are always saying, uh, what is your favorite win or favorite car? It's very difficult to say because the basic idea is to win. The interesting part in the um, annual uh, Media Media Watch made, made by Chopin is that it's always a full surprise. And of course, I think I'm one of the happy few who has probably uh, the full collection and, and always nice number, you know, because being the friend, being the friend of, uh, you know, the owner, he said, because you can have a zero, 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 one, or zero, 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 and, uh, and uh, I can have the one thousand I want, uh, you know, so, and, uh, you know. What's your number, your favorite number? Number one? I, I love number one. If you ask that question to a racing driver, that's their favorite place. It's you only get one, one answer. <laughs> but I have also thousand on thousand. Oh, it's also a, thousand, yeah. a nice number. But don't tell that. Huh? It's, it's just between, uh, <laughs> between us. What do you enjoy most about the new year? If there was one thing that you look forward to the most before you set off, um, the, for me, the soul of the Mille Miglia, the fact being on uh, the piazza at the start of the race, um, it's a unique moment because you cannot find 435 classic eligible cars, uh, very rare cars, all together and around it you have the Italians, not only at the piazza in, uh, in Brescia, but you have two million people on the side of the road watching uh, that defile of a unique car with a unique music because the sound, of, uh, the sound of an engine it's also a music and for me the scenery as well and here it's uh, for him it's competing you know he like now i like the atmosphere the atmosphere is unique and there's no other uh, classic car event like the Mille Miglia in the world. And then the country, the people, the spectators, and uh, the views. Uh, sometimes I envy him because he can look around and enjoy the view while I have to concentrate on the road. You know, I, I am like his dad. Huh? In a way, he has to be respectful. Therefore, I am also an antiquity. Huh? Not only the cars, but uh, so he has to slow down. Huh? 